So Brad's average golf score after six rounds was an 81, and for the first five rounds he had a score of a 78, an 86, an 82, an 81, and then another 82. We want to know what was his score on the sixth round. So let's, uh, let's label, let's say his score on the sixth round is X, just to label it. So we'll call his score on the sixth round, we'll, say, we'll label that as X, and again, that's what we're trying to solve for. We want to figure that out. So, okay, well, how do you compute an average? Well, to find an average, to find the average, we add up all of the scores, and we divide that by the number of scores, or we'll say the number of rounds played. Okay, well, okay, so let's add up all of the scores. That's going to go in the numerator of our fraction. We've got 78 plus 86 plus 82 plus 81 plus another 82. Okay, so that was only for the first five rounds. Uh, we know after six rounds, uh, his average was an 81, so there were six rounds total, so we also have to add this unknown one, X, okay, so that's accounting for his one, two, three, four, five, six rounds. So again, we're going to divide that by six, because that was the number of rounds that he played. This formula would compute the average, but we're told that the average is an 81, that was given to us, so we can set all of this equal to 81. So now we have our algebra equation to solve. So we're allowed to use our calculator on this section. So I'm going to add up the, the 78 plus the 86 plus the 82 plus the 81 plus the 82. That's 409. Then we still have our plus x hanging out. Divided by 6 equals 81. So again, I'm trying to solve this for x. That's my goal. So eventually I want to get down to, to, to where it just says x equals some number. So the thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of the 6. So on the left side, we have this, this 409 plus x being divided by 6. Well, I can multiply the left side by 6. And also, I have to multiply the right side by 6. Well, the 6's are going to cancel out. That's, again, the whole reason for doing that. This will simplify the left side. Now I've got 409 plus x equals, let's see, 81 times 6. 6 times 8 is 48. 6 times 1 is 6. So I believe that's going to give us 486. Again, you can certainly use your calculator to, to figure that out. So yeah, 81 times 6 off to the side here. I'm getting 486. Last but not least, to solve for x, we can subtract 409 from both sides. So on the left side, if we subtract, we'll just be left with x. And let's see, 486 minus 409, whoops, hit the wrong button there, 486 minus 409. I'm getting that to be equal to 77. So it looks like his score on that sixth round was equal to 77. So again, I'm not a, a, a big golfer, but uh, certainly I know that golf scores are whole numbers, right? You, so, so somehow, you know, if I made a mistake, suppose I got my answer to be like 77.4. Suppose there was a decimal in there or something. I would know intuitively that I had done something wrong because I know that golf scores have to be whole numbers. So that would be just a quick little intuitive check. Um, and again, you know, notice that all of his scores were pretty close together. You know, his low one was a 78, his high one was an 86, his average was an 81. So I know that his average, or the sixth round, should be, you know, somewhere around those numbers. Again, it, intuitively, it wouldn't make sense to me if I, you know, if I got X to be 152, that would seem way too high, or something like 24, you know, that would be way too low, sort of intuitively. So just some kind of rough intuitive checks and other things to think about. But the main thing to recall or to, to know in, this, for, in this, this example is just how to find an average.